Hey friends, Dustin here. You're watching the Life of Lynn channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We're back on the 1986 Barth, and yes, we've been doing a lot of videos in this series recently, but I'm in a rush because Lake Day is only two days away, and it's still not ready. If last time you checked out some of the other videos, we got a lot of the systems up and running on this thing. I did start cleaning it, and uh, it's looking a little bit nicer. Outside's a little, a little rough. We'll fix that up as we go. But inside, you know, I got to get this thing dialed in. I got to get it super clean because, well, my family's going to be in it in two days. And I got to drive it to the lake. And I still don't have plates on it. So I'm going to have to do that too. Let's jump in, see where we're at. Could not get anybody out here to steam clean the whole thing. Uh, despite my phone calls that went unanswered. Um, <laughs> guess nobody wants to do a motorhome. But I did find a 20-year-old steam cleaner for your house in my basement that i haven't used in several years and it kind of worked so i uh, went ahead and just did it a little bit nicer didn't have time to replace all the carpet that's going to be a huge headache in here so we went ahead and just steam cleaned all the things got underneath here this is all back together that's all cleaned up put some paint down where the mouse nests have been so that's all sealed up Smells nice now. Smells like simple green. That's what we use in the carpet shampooer. Bringing the carpets back, you know? It's looking pretty good. Steam cleaned all this. Couches. Uh, tried to do the chairs. They're kind of poofy. Uh, couldn't really get up underneath there too well with it. But it's looking better, okay? I got some more cleaning to do in the kitchen. I got to clean the fridge out still. Uh, I've done all the floors done the overhead bins so it's it's looking pretty nice but i i do have more work but today 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 uh i made some purchases i don't like spending money but family's gonna be in this thing let's go let's go see what i bought one of my least favorite things to do is go to walmart don't care for it but uh it's also the only place in town that sells all kinds of bedroom and bathroom stuff. So, we are, we got pillows, we've got sheets, rugs, blankets, all kinds of accessories. I'm gonna do that thing up a little bit real quick, just kinda sprinkle some nice stuff in it and, I don't know, let's do it. Let's jump into it. I'm the way. Rug. Sure. Hmm, uh, smells nice. All right, fragrance warmer. Where should we put that? This is breakable. Probably not something you want in a moving vehicle, but uh, six bucks. I don't know if we fit two. Sure, that's gonna. That'll all spill out. Fire her up. That's gonna be a good smell of light. We got the cheapest rugs Walmart had. Nice. Looks mint. Got some uh, extra thick waterproof mattress pads. Seems reasonable. Ooh, with Scotch Guard and Microban. Perfect for those people with kids. Done. How's that? Oh yeah, these these will look good. Kind of got the vintage vibe going on there. Although, I should probably wash all this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go wash this. All right, getting hot. Time to kick on the old air conditioner. I can run one of those on the 15 amp power cord. Can't wait to get to the lake and hook the 50 up. All right, this thing is, um, don't know why it's doing that now. I sprayed it with bleach. Apparently that ruins it. Tear it off. Yeah, this is way faster. Yeah, neat. Look at that. So modern. All right, slightly more modern. That looks all right. Um, also, Upgraded light bulbs, LEDs, 
except for fluorescence. I have a retrofit kit for these. They're a little bit smaller, so I'm gonna have to make brackets and do some custom wiring. That's gonna happen, probably not before the trip. Fluorescents are okay, so. Yeah, here's our uh, retrofit LEDs. I had a bunch of these sitting around. Um, that's what I'm gonna use them, even though they're not the right size. I'll wire them up and make them fit. But yeah, guys, I uh, replaced all the reading light bulbs with these. I think they're only like two watts and they are incredibly bright. I'll show them to you. I'll show those to you at night at some point in time, maybe when we go camping. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the first trip out in our 1986 bar. That is coming in two days. So I'll be doing that. And then of course, I'm not gonna edit while I'm on vacation. <laughs> no. Uh, and then I'm gonna edit the video for you and bring it back. So probably like a week after this one. Looking good. Ugh, I need to clean the fridge. I don't want to do that. Have to. I'm gonna do that. I'll show you. Okay, freezer. Oh, not too bad. A couple little weird spots in there. Um, yeah, then you get into the fridge and you're like, oh, oh, oh my, oh boy. That's gross. I'm gonna dive into that. Unfortunately. Holy smokes, it is getting hot out there. And it's uh, it's not what I'd call cold in here either. Good news is, blankets are clean, sheets are clean. Freezer? Oh yeah, that's nice. Fridge, eh, the fridge is still kind of gross. I scrubbed it, but it needs more work. Jump back here, get this cleaned up. I gotta show you this guy too. This right here is a commercial ozone generator. I got the plates out right now, I'm scrubbing those, but uh, essentially that sanitizes the air by turning it into ozone. After I get everything cleaned up in here, I'm gonna run that all night in here. That'll kill all the yuckies that you can't see underneath carpet and vents and, and whatever else. Nice thing to keep on hand, especially if you buy cars that have smoke damage or pet odors or it, it does a pretty good job with smells too. But uh, it doesn't smell bad in here anymore because we took care of all that. And uh, really scrubbing it up, it's coming along nice. All right, consider this churched up. Let's uh, go up to the front. And I think I'm just going to do a quick reupholstery on the whole front area. All right, consider the front area reupholstered. What's better? Kind of. I mean, everything's clean. That's the important part. Liking it so far. Obviously, I'm just in a rush job to try to get everything usable for this weekend. Um, but we are still planning on ripping out all the carpet. Doing some nice hardwood in here and updating a few things. But we are going to keep that vintage vibe. And I think I'm going to leave the seats upholstered the way they are. Uh, mob? Is that mob? I don't know. We're going to leave those. And um, yeah, just touch up a few things in here. Other than that, we got a couple things we got to fix. We got the one furnace up front that wouldn't fire, and um, probably some more water leaks eventually with this plastic tubing, it tends to break. But all the water leaks as of right now, I think are taken care of. Famous last words. All right, so the next morning, I did manage to run the ozone machine all last night, so we're gonna go shut it off now and air it out. You don't want to be in here occupying this while this machine's running. Well, I discovered last night, before I put everything away, that uh, unfortunately, the uh, power converter is just not keeping up in this thing. It's a big 75 amp uh, power converter, converts 110 volt to basically battery charge voltage. So our 12 volt system, uh, all the lights and everything will stay charged off of that. And it's maybe adding a 10th of a volt on top of what battery voltage is. So it's, it thinks it's charging. Uh, amperage wise, I didn't even test that because if the, the voltage isn't there to feed into the battery, then there's gonna be no amperage. Um, yeah, so the batteries are sitting at like 12.2 with it on 
and when I unplugged it, it dropped down to 12.1. So it's basically not being charged at all. I noticed that because the display up there uh, stated that the battery is in fair condition, even though it had been plugged in all day. And I thought, well, that's a little odd. Charge voltage, it should say good. Went ahead and grabbed the multimeter, hooked it up to the battery, and yeah, they're just barely sitting at standard uh, sitting voltage. Yeah, so that's great. <laughs> the batteries aren't charging when it's plugged in. Uh, kind of an issue. They do charge up just fine when the engine's running. Uh, the alternator, it gets to about uh, 14 volts, and then uh, there's an isolator switch that automatically kicks on charging for those off of the chassis side battery. So you can top them off by driving it, which is good. It's not bad, you know, but uh, I don't think people at the campground are going to want to listen to that 454 fire up first thing in the morning so I can top off my batteries while they're trying to have their coffee. Uh, so. I think how I'm going to temporarily fix this is I have some solar panels sitting around like I always do. A lot of stuff out here is actually solar powered. Not the house yet, but um, that tiny house out there, that's solar powered. There's a little bit of solar on this one here. So we're down to one more day before we head off camping. And uh, of course, we got more issues. This thing's been sitting for, for quite a long time. I have a very thorough pile of receipts in this thing all the way up until about 2008 and then everything just stopped there's no more receipts for repairs there's no more new magazines in there everything i have for it is very very thorough dated from 1986 huge stacks of paperwork of all the work that's been done and everything all the way up to about 2008 and then it stopped so i think this thing is pretty much set since 2008 bringing everything back up to life and running it hard in 98 degree heat out here it's showing some signs of weakness so we're just going to find all the problems in the systems um, as we use it and, and go ahead and fix them up rvs are like that you know you just keep putting money in them not as bad as boats though you just boats just throw your money in a bag and flush it <laughs> not that i'm saying don't get one they're great go get one Okay, with doing solar and stuff, it's nice to have some stuff that's more efficient. So this is one of the old uh, fixtures that goes in the overheads up there. They're fluorescent. Well, there was a cat in here. Scary. Uh, this one's not working. It needs a ballast. These ballasts are uh, not removable. So i got to replace the whole thing. But as opposed to doing that and using these twin 15 watt bulbs, I found these, which are smaller, yes, but they're LED tubes. We just wire those in there, mount them, tape them, just do something with them. And uh, then they got this little pigtail, and then you bypass all this, just go positive or negative, hang it back up. All right, light fixture is all back together. Got the nice Barth wood surround. This is the nice thing about Barth is they like handmade. Look at this, softly sanded corners, no sharp edges, and a lot of nice trim, a lot of hardwood. Anyway, looks beautiful. Back up in there. Let's hit the light switch and go. Oh, look at that. Fires right up. Cool. You really can't tell too much that I have four different bulbs up there. Uh, the diffuser is doing a good job. It still looks like a fluorescent light. Uh, it's not the super blue lights like those are. Just kind of got a nice soft white. Matches. This is still the old fluorescent. Looks good there. And then in the back, I went ahead and just changed the bulbs and now this one works. Um, so we're going to run with that for now. Because I got a lot of stuff to do. I still have to go to work today. Um, and it's like 9.30 and it's 
really hot already. I gotta get solar on this thing because we have nothing charging the batteries. Whew. Last minute rush. I'm putting 200 watts of solar on the roof because I had it sitting around. I found a charge controller sitting in one of the tiny houses wherever it went. I use a uh, Renergy Solar Brand. Been using these guys for years. Not sponsored, but maybe I should send them an email because I've been putting a lot of their products on a lot of different things. So, uh, been really happy with it. I think I got a, this is an adventure charge controller. It's got a nice digital display on it and a little uh, USB charger. So you can just hook your phone directly up to the solar stuff and it runs up to 30 amps of current. So on a 24 volt system, we can run 800 watts worth of solar panels into this little guy. This is probably gonna be the one that stays in here. So there's upgrade options. It's gonna get mounted back here, but I'll have to cut a hole and i don't have time for that today so this is just going to sit behind the fridge on the outside the best way to run this is just to put your solar panels up on the roof drop the wires right down the back of the refrigerator where the heat vent is and wire it right in this is a three-way refrigerator it means it runs off of ac electric dc electric and gas and the cool thing about it being a three-way is it has a really big DC power lines going to it so we can tag right into there and feed this 200 watts right through the back of the fridge basically into our batteries that way we don't have to run wires up on the roof or underneath to the batteries which are over there I think so I'm gonna jump on the roof get these solar panels together put the Z brackets on and uh, get this thing wired up We got the wires all together, got them all tied together to the solar panels and then dropped through the back vent for the refrigerator. They're right here. Got our battery hooked up. You always want to hook your battery up first so our battery runs right into these heavy gauge 12 volt wires right here to the back of the fridge. Now I will run these to the battery eventually but this is just going to get us going for the weekend. Got our negative for our solar panel here. That's hooked up. We're just going to hook up the positive. So right now there we go. Battery voltage is 11.7 volts. That's low. Let's fix that. Got a nice end. Put it into the positive part. Run our terminal down. All hooked up. All right. 9.7 amps coming in from the panels already. Since we just hooked them up, we don't have any kilowatt hours, but now we're charging the battery at 12.5 volts. I'm going to temporarily just set this back here, probably. Yeah, that'll eventually go inside so you can look at it. But the batteries are charging for now. We're good to go. Well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I still have to get to work and work a full day. And when I get home, I've got to weed the garden and pack this thing up. Because tomorrow, we're going to the lake. We're going camping with it. And it's as ready as it's going to get. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I'm going to bring you guys along for the camping trip. So look forward to that episode when it comes out. And of course, a lot more projects going on. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That helps me out so much. And of course, smash the like button. Leave a comment down below. 
let me know how we're doing on this 1986 luxury barth motorhome thank you guys so much for watching today god bless you we'll see you next time